Section 47 of The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy by Hannah Glass. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Receipts for Perfumery, etc. Advertisement. The following collection of approved receipts in perfumery hath been added to this edition of The Art of Cookery in order to render the work of more extensive utility than the former and which it is presumed will be considered by the reader as a valuable acquisition receipts for perfumery etc to make red light or purple wash balls get some white soap beat it in a mortar then put it into a pan and cover it down close let the same be put into a copper so that the water does not come to the top of the pan then cover your copper as close as you can to stop the steam make the water boil some time take the pan out and beat it well with a wooden stirrer till it is all melted with the heat of the water then pour it out into drops and cut them into square pieces as small as a walnut let it lie three days on an oven in a band box afterwards put them into a pan and damp them with rose water mash it well with your hands and mould them according to your fancy that is squeeze them as hard and as close as you possibly can make them very round and put them into a bandbox or a sieve two or three days then scrape them with a little washball scraper which are made for that purpose and let them lie eight or nine days afterwards scrape them very smooth and to your mind note well if you would have them red when you first mash them put in a little vermilion if light some hair powder and if purple some rose pink to make blue red or purple wash balls or to marble ditto get some white soap and cut it into square pieces about the bigness of dice let it lie in a bandbox or a sieve on the top of an oven to dry beat it in a mortar to a powder and put it into a pan damp it with rose water mix it well with your hands put in some hair powder to make it stiff then scent it with oil of thyme and oil of caraways if you would have them blue put in some powder blue if red some vermilion if purple some rose pink mix them well together with your hands and squeeze them as close as possible make them very round of a size agreeable to your mind put them into a sieve two or three days then scrape them a little with a washball scraper and let them lie in the sieve eight or nine days afterwards scrape them very smooth and agreeable to your mind if you would have them marbled after being scented with oil of thyme and oil of caraways as in the first process cut them into pieces about as much as will make a ball each make it into a flat square piece then take a very thin knife and dip it into the powder blue vermilion or rose pink according to the colour you would fancy and chop it in according to your mind double it up and make it into a hard and round ball and use the same process as before mentioned white almond wash balls take some white soap and slice it thin put it in a bandbox on the top of an oven to dry three weeks or more when it is dry beat it in a mortar till it is a powder to every four ounces of soap add one ounce of hair powder half an ounce of white lead put them into a pan and damp them with rose water to make it of a proper consistency make them into balls as hard and close as possible scrape them with a ball scraper and use the same process as before mentioned letting them lie three weeks in a sieve to dry then finish them with a ball scraper to your mind brown almond wash balls take some common brown hard soap 
slice it thin and put it in a bandbox on the top of an oven to dry for the space of three weeks or more when quite dry beat it in a mortar to a powder to every three ounces of soap add one ounce of brown almond powder put it in a mortar and damp it with rose water to make it of a proper consistency beat it very well then make them into balls according to a process before mentioned letting them lie three weeks in a sieve to dry then finish them with a ball scraper agreeable to your mind to make lip salve take half a pound of hog's lard put it into a pan with one ounce and a half of virgin wax let it stand on a slow fire till it is melted then take a small tin pot and fill it with water and put therein some alkanet root let it boil till it is of a fine red colour then strain some of it and mix it with the ingredients according to your fancy and scent it with essence of lemon pour it into small boxes and smooth the top with your finger note well you may pour a little out first to see if it is of a proper colour to your fancy a stick or composition to take hair out by the roots take two ounces and a half of rosin and one ounce of beeswax melt them together and make them into sticks for use to make white lip salve and for chopped hands and face six shillings and threepence per pot melt some spermaceti in sweet oil add thereto a small bit of white wax when it is melted put in a small quantity of white sugar candy and stir it well therein then pour it into pots for use french rouge five shillings per pot take some carmine and mix it with hair powder to make it as pale as you please according to your fancy opiate for the teeth two shillings and sixpence per pot take one pound of honey let it be very well boiled and skimmed a quarter of a pound of bowl ammoniac one ounce of dragon's blood one ounce of oil of sweet almonds half an ounce of oil of cloves eight drops of essence of bergamot one gill of honey water mix all well together and pour it into pots for use Delescott's opiate half an ounce of bowl ammoniac one ounce of powder of myrrh one ounce of dragon's blood half an ounce of orris root half an ounce of rock alum half an ounce of ground ginger two ounces of honey mix all well together and put it in pots for use to make shaving oil one shilling per bottle dissolve a quantity of oil soap cut into thin slices in spirits of wine let it stand a week then put in as much soft soap till the liquor becomes a clammy substance scent as you please and bottle it for use to take iron moulds out of linen and grease out of woollen or silk one shilling a bottle take four ounces of spirits of turpentine and one ounce of essence of lemon mix them well together and put it into bottles for use wash for the face take one quart of milk a quarter of a pound of saltpetre beaten to a powder put in two pennyworth of oil of aniseed one pennyworth of oil of cloves about four thimbles full of the best white wine vinegar put it into a bottle and let it stand in sand half way up in the sun or in some warm place for a fortnight without the cork afterwards cork and seal it up liquid for the hair two shillings a quarter of a pint to three quarts of sweet oil put a quarter of a pound of alkanet root cut in small pieces let it be boiled some time over a steam add thereto three ounces of oil of jessamine and one ounce of oil of lavender strain it through a coarse cloth but do not squeeze it to make white almond paste 
take one pound of bitter almonds blanch and beat them very fine in a mortar put in the whites of four eggs one ounce of french white of Troyes. add some rose water and spirits of wine a little at a time until it is of a consistency for paste to make brown almond paste take one pound of bitter almonds beat them well in a mortar add to them one pound of raisins of the sun stoned beat and mix them very well together and put in a little brandy sweet scented bags to lay with linen at one shilling and sixpence two shillings and sixpence etc 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 each bag eight ounces of coriander seeds eight ounces of sweet orris root eight ounces of damask rose leaves eight ounces of calamus aromaticus one ounce of mace one ounce of cinnamon half an ounce of cloves four drams of musk powder two drams of white loaf sugar three ounces of lavender flowers and some rhodium wood beat them well together and make them in small silk bags honey water one shilling per bottle one quart of rectified spirits of wine two drams of tincture of ambergris two drams of tincture of musk half a pint of water filter it according to your fancy and put it into small bottles orange butter melt a small quantity of spermaceti in sweet oil and put in a little fine dutch pink to colour it then add a little oil of orange to scent it and lastly while it is very hot put in some spirits of wine to curdle it lemon butter is made the same as orange butter only put in no dutch pink and scent it with essence of lemons instead of oil of orange marischal powder sixteen shillings per pound one ounce of cloves one ounce of mace one ounce of cinnamon beat them very well to a fine powder add to them four pounds of hair powder and half a pound of spanish burnt amber beaten very fine a quarter of an ounce of oil of lavender half an ounce of oil of thyme a quarter of an ounce of essence of amber five drops of oil of laurel a quarter of an ounce of oil of sassafras mix them all well together virgin's milk two shillings per bottle put one ounce of tincture of benjamin into a pint of cold water mix it well and let it stand one day then run it through a flannel bag with some tow in it put it in bottles for use eau de bouquet take one quart of spirits of wine half an ounce of musk two drams of tincture of saffron mix them well together and let them stand one day then filter it with any water the ambrosia nosegay take one pint of spirits of wine one dram of oil of cloves one ounce of oil of nutmegs mix them and filter it as you please pearl water mix pearl powder with honey and lavender water and then the pearl powder will never be discoloured eau de luce two ounces of the best rectified spirits of wine one dram of oil of amber two drams of salt of tartar prepared powder of amber two drams twenty drops of oil of nutmegs put them all into a bottle and shake it well let it stand five hours then filter it and always keep it by you and when you would make eau de luce Put it into the stronger spirits of sal ammoniac. Milk fluid water. One quart of spirits of wine, half an ounce of oil of cloves, one dram of essence of lemons, fifteen drops of oil of rhodium, a little cochineal in powder, to colour it of a fine pink. Let it stand one day, then filter it, but with no water. Miss in her teens one quart of spirits of wine essence of bergamot one ounce oil of rhodium two drams tincture of musk half a dram and half a pint of water 
mix them well together and put them into bottles for use lady lily's ball take twelve ounces of oil soap shaved very fine spermaceti three ounces melt them together two ounces of bismuth dissolved in rose water for the space of three hours one ounce of oil of thyme one ounce of the oil of caraways one ounce of essence of lemons mix all well together hard pomatum take three pounds of mutton suet boil and skim it well till it is quite clear pour it off from the dross which remains at the bottom then add thereto eight ounces of virgin wax melt them together and scent it with essence of lemon make it into rolls according to fancy soft pomatum take a quantity of hog's lard boil and skim it very well put in a small quantity of hair powder when it is cool to make it agreeable to your mind and scent it with essence of lemons note well you may take a small quantity out first and let it cool if it is too soft add a little hair powder to make it stiffer nun's cream one ounce of pearl powder twenty drops of oil of rhodium and two ounces of fine pomatum mix all well together osson's parel one quart of spirits of wine one ounce of essence of bergamot two drams of tincture of musk add to them half a pint of water and bottle them for use beautifying water is balsanium cosmeticum a small quantity put into elderflower water lozenges for the heartburn take one pound of chalk beat it to a powder in a mortar with one pound and a half of white loaf sugar and one ounce of bowl ammoniac mix them well together and put in something to moisten them to make it of a proper consistency or paste make them into small lozenges and let them lie in a bandbox on the top of an oven a week or more to dry shaking the box sometimes lozenges for a cold take two pounds of common white loaf sugar beat it well in a mortar dissolve six ounces of spanish licorice in a little warm water one ounce of gum arabic dissolved likewise add thereto a little oil of aniseed mix them well to a proper consistency and cut them into small lozenges let them lie in a bandbox on the top of an oven a considerable time to dry shaking the box sometimes to make dragon roots take some mallow roots skin them and pick one end with a pin or needle till you have made it like a brush then take some powder of brazil and some cochineal boil them together and put in the roots till you think they are thoroughly dyed then take them out and lay them by the fire to dry to make shaving powder take some white soap and shave it in very thin slices let it be well dried on the top of an oven in a bandbox beat it in a mortar till it is very fine sift it through a fine sieve and scent it as you please windsor soap two shillings per pound get some of the whitest soap shave it into thin slices melt it in a stew pan over a slow fire and scent it very strong with oil of caraways pour it into a drawer made for that purpose let it stand three days or more and cut it into square pieces to your fancy soap to fill shaving boxes take some of the whitest soap beat it in a mortar and scent it with oil of caraways make it flat then chop in some vermilion or powder blue to marble it with a very thin knife dipped in the same double it up and squeeze it hard into the boxes then scrape it smooth with a knife tooth powder one shilling per bottle burn some rock alum and beat it in a mortar sift it fine then take some rose pink and mix them well together to make it of a pale red colour 
add thereto a little powder of myrrh and put it into bottles for use cold cream take one pint of trotter oil a quarter of a pound of hog's lard one ounce of spermaceti a bit of virgin wax warm them together with a little rose water and beat it up with a whisk the genuine receipt to make turlington's balsam balsam of peru one ounce best storax two ounces benjamin impregnated with sweet almonds three ounces aloes succotorine myrrh elect purest frankincense roots of angelica flowers of st john's wort of each of these half an ounce beat the drugs well in a mortar and put them into a large glass bottle add thereto a pint or rather more of the best spirits of wine and let the bottle stand by the kitchen fire or in the chimney corner two days and two nights then decant it off in smaller bottles for use and let them be well corked and sealed note well the same quantity of spirits of wine poured on the ingredients letting them stand by the fire or in some warm place for the space of six days and nights will serve for common use pour off the same in small bottles and let them be well corked and sealed to make syrup de capillaire put seven pounds of common lump sugar into a pan and thereto add seven pints of water boil it well and keep skimming it then take the white of an egg put it in some water and beat it up well with a whisk take the froth off and scatter it therein and keep it skimming until it is quite clear then add thereto half a pint of orange flower water mix it well together let it stand till cold and put it into a stone bottle or in bottles for use let them be quite clean and dry before it is put into them otherwise it will make it mothery and spoil it note well if you choose to have it of a high colour burn a little sugar in a pan of a brown colour afterwards put a little capillaire thereto stir it about with a wooden spoon and mix it well with the capillaire according to your fancy for a consumption an approved receipt by a lady at paddington take the yolk of a new-laid egg beat it up well with three large spoonfuls of rose water mix it well in half a pint of new milk from the cow sweeten it well with syrup de capillaire and grate some nutmeg in it drink it every morning fasting for a month and refrain from spirituous liquors of any kind note well mr powell who kept the crown a public house in swallow street st james's was in so deep a decline as to be scarce able to walk when he coughed the phlegm he brought from his stomach was green and yellow and he was given over by his physician who as the last resource advised him to go into the country to try what the air would do he happily went to lodge at paddington the woman of the house understanding his condition recollected that an old lady who had lodged in the same house had left a book with a collection of receipts in it for various disorders instantly fetched it and found the foregoing which he having strictly followed found himself much better in a fortnight and by continuing the same in less than a month he began to have an appetite and with the blessing of god in a short time by degrees he recovered his health to the astonishment and surprise of all who knew him and declared to me he was as well and hearty as ever he was in his life and did not scruple to tell every person the means and method of his recovery note well this receipt i had from his own mouth to stop a violent purging or the flux take a third part of a gill of the very best double distilled aniseed grate a third part of a large nutmeg into it to be taken the same quantity an hour after breakfast one hour after dinner and if occasion 
an hour before going to bed probatum est for obstructions in the womb succatorine aloes one ounce cardamom seed a quarter of an ounce snake root a quarter of an ounce gum myrrh a quarter of an ounce saffron a quarter of an ounce cochineal two scruples zedori two scruples rhubarb two scruples let these drugs be well beaten in a mortar and put them into a large bottle add thereto a pint and a half of mountain wine place it near the fire for the space of three days and nights shaking it often let the patient take a small teacupful twice a week in the morning an hour before rising another four obstructions three pennyworth of alchemies two pennyworth of venice treacle and a quarter of an ounce of spermaceti to be made into four boluses one to be taken every evening going to bed half a pint of penny royal water a quarter of a pint of hysteric water and a quarter of a pint of peppermint water to be taken every morning and evening a teacupful for a hoarseness two ounces of penny royal water the yolk of a new laid egg beaten thirty drops of cochineal twenty drops of oil of aniseed mixed well and sweetened with white sugar candy a large spoonful to be taken night and morning end of section 47 end of the art of cookery made plain and easy by hannah glass